Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will go over the Zero Hour Mission in 2024. Now, with this guide, I'm going to do a complete guide, and I will go over all the details, all the paths, how you get to everything. And of course, this is my first run through, so expect fully de-optimized play. In fact, right here, I'm forgetting the path. You know, it's been just a few years since we played this. But for those of you who are new, this will be a good guide for figuring out exactly how to go through, not that way, how to go through the, the entire mission, and get all the rewards for and get outbreak perfected so first off in this first room there's a lot of different shielded uh enemies that you'll have to worry about and i almost die here so one thing to keep in mind that's really helpful here is to balance your burns between your fire team because in the different rooms you're going to have a lot of arc solar and void shielded enemies right in this room there's a lot of void and i'm using my void hunter here to try to clear some of these out, right? But again, the whole point of this is try to maximize the burns between your fire team to get through here. But a ton of shanks, there's gonna be a lot of sniper fire, so sniper protection could, should be good, right? That will really help out. But again, use you know your weapon sparingly here. Um, try to get these adds out. They can be a little beefy, but we're clearing this out here. And almost done. One of the things that's key with this mission is you need to make sure, and you can see I'm having the same issue here, you need to make sure you get all the enemies out in each room or the, the doors will not open. So as you get through this first area, again, it's just kind of an intro area to get you used to the gameplay. Again, you're following this path. One thing that we tried to check out is in the original Zero Hour mission, and I don't know if they're gonna use these, there's this heroic variant we can use data pads and you can get basically the catalyst. I don't think it's gonna work that way, but just in case, normally there it would drop a quest that will allow you to do something further on the mission, but it didn't appear to do anything. I guess we'll see in the future if it's doing anything or not. So keep going on. And here we go into this next room. And in this room, it's a huge open area, right? This is basically the old tower and here you're going to have a bunch of a lot of arc shielded enemies i think there's some solar here there might be some void there's definitely solar and arc the other thing you're going to notice that i almost forgot here is these annoying snipers you're going to want to get those down as quickly as possible i can remember when we first originally played this mission the game was much more difficult back then you didn't have as many options on weapons we used to actually a lot of us would go in with bows and we would have the three different burn bows like a solar void and arc bow and you'd want to sit in the back and kind of plink things. As you can tell, we're kind of power crep, so this is a lot different, right? Even here, even though I don't have an arc weapon here, I'm still tearing through the shields of most of these shanks, right? But again, this first time through, that's one of the recommendations I would make for you is make sure you have something from each subclass on, right? Each burn on. Make sure that you have the ability to take all the different shields down, or you can do it amongst your fire team. So keep working these guys down. There is a brig over here. That's a new addition. So that's new from the original. It's a little beefy. Um, obviously, I'm missing my shots there. But it takes a little effort. But you'll be able to take him down fairly quickly. He's like any other brig, right? If you get him mad, he's going to try to fire and take you out. So just be careful. But again, doesn't take that long to kill. But you know, he goes into his suicide attack here. You know, he's trying to kill you. And there you go. Okay, and here, again, the same path as in the original. You go through here, there's a little tunnel. I'm gonna come up this tunnel, and there's a little area right here towards the end where you have to kind of sneak through. In this area, there's gonna be a lot of annoying snipers. You're gonna wanna try to take those out as quickly as possible, because they can really screw you up too. Again, this is why sniper protection is really, really nice to have in here. Now, you're gonna have a variety of shields in here, and one thing I would recommend, and we used to do this in the old one, is you can chain your supers here between, you know, the different people in the fire team. If there's a solar weapon there, which would have been nice if I had one there, someone there on the fire team, you can see you can wipe those things out pretty quickly. But key here is chaining your supers, because you get with the orbs, you'll get your supers back quickly, allows you to clear this room out really, really, really easily. So again, you want to take out everything in the room, right? That's the key. Every room you gotta take out all the ads. So I'm kind of working through those right now. I'm going invisible, using my grenades, using my abilities, just trying to get everything down. 
Still working through it. Almost there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make sure all these snipers are gone because they're super, super annoying, right? All these vandals. Just making sure they're all good, dead. Working on them. There's a couple of void dudes here, these servitors. You wanna work on that. And there's a big tank. So you're gonna wanna work on all those guys. I'm trying my best not to use my heavy, right? I'm just trying to use my abilities, trying to use my um, recluse here. I eventually end up resorting to getting the heavy, but then we clear it out pretty well. So once you get past here, there's a couple little areas where you're gonna have some additional ads. And as you can tell, I almost have my super back. So that's one of the nice things where don't be shy about using your super in some of the areas of ads here, because typically, you'll get it back between the people and the fire team. Just clearing ads out. Come down here again, annoying snipers. Again, it's a theme within this encounter. And continue to take out ads, try not to die. Now there isn't the um, wipe your the whole entire fire team if you die mechanic in this encounter extinguish so you don't have to worry about that right people can die if you need to unless you're trying to go flawless so i'm gonna work my way up through this room up through this hallway keep working my way working my way back to you okay that's not the right song okay so working my way forward taking these guys out Again, you're trying to get rid of every ad along the way. And I noticed that there's some red sitting here, right? Like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Well, what I found out is that these ads up here, because this is a little bit different than the original, there are actual ads up here in this catwalk and you can't, you can't shoot them. You can't do anything. You'll have to get those later. So I'm gonna continue working my way up, down this path. Turn left here. And then you'll see this on the ads here. So again, this is a little bit different than the original. You know, there's gonna be a little bit of variety in what you're doing, but you're gonna wanna get all of those ads down. All right, so we got the door. Now this is where some of the jumping puzzle begins. It's not terribly difficult. You can obviously, if you're on a hunter, you can switch over to Stompies if you need it. But again, it's not that difficult of a jumping area right here. Okay, you're coming down here to the bottom, working our way through this passageway. Now in the original Zero Hour, there were two paths, one here on the right, where that like E is, and one on the left. The one that left on the ship, that was a non-heroic um, version. This was a normal one. And this is the one I ended up taking and looks to be accurate. I haven't tried the other path to see if it works. I don't know, legend if that's gonna happen. Not quite sure if they're gonna have both paths open. The heroic path is longer, so I'm not sure. So anyway, you come over here, don't take any deceptions. There's some areas that'll try to distract you as far as which way you wanna go. Now over here, and there's multiple ways to get out of here, right? And I'm gonna just blow them all up for no apparent reason, but you look here, there's a bunch of areas that you can jump on. And you need to be careful. Yep, just be careful right here. Jump and land. You see the platforms go away. But the area you're going to want to go into is where I'm going right now, right? There's a bunch of other areas. If you go into them, you'll die. But this is the area that you're going to want to go into. All right, we're going to keep moving forward. And this is another portion of the jumping puzzle. Now, one trick here, they, there are some enemies, so you'll need to take them out, right? Nothing too potent, we just knocked that guy off. But you come over here, and one thing you're gonna notice, you see that crease there? You see that long line? See that right there? Okay, if you go and you jump right there, you can land, you see this thing is deployed here, this, this landing area, that's actually extra. That's something someone's deployed with a lever. But either way, you come down to this area, and you can see I can, Activate and deactivate that lever, but I'm not going to because that would be kind of jerky. You see there, I can deactivate it, but that just retracts it. That would be bad for people, so I'm activated again. Now I'm going to work my way up, get on these boxes, kill this dude, revive someone on my fire team, then move my way forward. On top of, nope, don't go that way. On top of this box, there's a hole. 
You can jump on top of that hole. Oh, well, maybe. Again, thank God for mantle. But you can work your way down here. And this is another, uh, another area that's got a ton of deceptive areas that you can jump into. So you'll see that there are little places that you can shoot and open up, like little vents. And there's a bunch of them. And a lot of them will end up in a dead end. So if I go this way, go this way, it's dead end, right? So however, where I wanna go is up here. So if you go up here, and jump over here, and then jump right in there. Maybe. The other thing is you can always cross, you know, side to side as well. And I'm going this way. And you can see now that I'm at the ladder. The uh, These are the fans. And the fans, if you played Spire the Watcher, you've seen something like this. Now, one thing that's nice, the little surprise I put in here is these exploding shanks, which just got a buddy of mine. But if you go down each of these areas, well, first off, I'm going to do this. Um, but I probably could have done this a little better. And I'll show you here. I figured this out after the first time. Those little red, you'll see these little red um, uh, things on the on the sides that have pipes on them. Well, you can land there. So that's a way where you can land, shoot the shanks, keep going down. So I'm going to head down here. Shoot the shank. Again, you kind of get the point, right? Not terribly difficult. Just have to be slow, methodical, and just make sure you're paying attention. I'm going to jump over here, and then here we are. So in this next area, this next jumping area, you'll see that there's platforms already deployed here. That's because someone got ahead of me. So as you're going through this area, you see the things on the right and left? Those are um, not the platforms, but little little ridges. You can land there to, to make all these jumps. However, since someone went forward and deployed with a lever down there, deployed these platforms, it makes it a lot easier for everyone else on the fire team to go through. So I'm gonna keep moving forward and keep moving forward. And then we're gonna find the next area to go to. And this is where we get to Trevor. Trevor is the psychotic robot that's trying to kill you. And you see there was a map over there on the left-hand side as I was going through here that shows his current location. Your goal is to get through the maze and flip four levers, two on the right and two on the left to stop Trevor. Now, Trevor, you'll see either, you'll see like a red flashing light when he's coming to you. You also hear noises. He'll be on the left or right. Again, your goal, and you can even see, see the red in the distance, that's him coming. So a couple things you can do. There are cubbies that you can hide in when he shows up. You can also do this. You can go up in the middle and there are pipes. So let's say he's coming down towards you and I'm using my friends for bait, um, but you can basically use that area as a hiding spot. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm going to get this second, acti this second activation on the right. Uh, my fire teammate got the other one on the right. You'll see these arc shields come up. They're kind of annoying. They will stop you. And sometimes they'll stop you right when Trevor's showing up, which is unfortunate. But your whole goal in here is to try to communicate to let your fire team know where Trevor is. And so I'm coming over here. Again, my goal is, oh, you see, you see the red? See the red? I'm going to stay over here. I'm going to let Trevor pass and I'm like, see ya. So I'm going this way. Again, we're stuck up against, we're just, hey, hurry up. Don't want Trevor to come get us. Just waiting for that to come through. Going through the end. I see the arc coming and I, I didn't make it, he, he made it. Now I'm gonna be in a difficult position because Trevor's gonna come right now. So you see this little cubby here? I duck in the cubby and then I can move forward. So go through here, there's a door. 
And then you gotta get on these platforms and go up. Now, one thing is nice is sometimes you use like, a, I use on my Hunter, um, I use um, Stompies to be able to do some of the jumps. So on this ride up, you can actually have time to switch out your exotic if you need to. Again, you just have a little bit of time. Real, the big goal is you see that platform that's coming? If you're not careful, when this goes to the top, look what happens to these guys. The platform goes down really quickly. So as you get towards the top, you're going to almost immediately, like right here, jump and get up. So I'm making sure I have my, you know, what's equipped here. And then here you're going to, there is on the right and left, there are barriers that are going to kill you if you're not careful. The other thing is I try to do, like on the Hunter, I try to do a couple little jumps to kind of slow my momentum down so I don't die. Um, and of course, because it's been a while, we're like, hey, where do we go? But really over here on the left here, there's a little uh, vent and you go in the vent and you keep going. So I'm gonna head down here. One of the ways you find out where to go next in here, again, we're just looking around, is that in this area, again, just looking around, just avoid the avoid doing this like we did it. You'll see the symbol over here. See right here that I'm pressing against. That reveals a door. Now, when you go through this door, one of the things you're going to notice is that there's this this floor. This floor will burn you if you don't follow exactly this path. Now, this is a path as of the recording of this video, which is the first week. It is very likely that they're going to alternate this on different weeks if they do this like they did the original mission. It's possible they won't. So if they don't. Um, that's not the path you take. You don't take that path. You take, here I'll show you. Take this. You take this. You take this. Go back. Go over here. And again, we're just trying to figure out the path the first time through, right? Go up here, go up, go ahead, do it, go up here, and then we're out. So that's the path, right? Everyone's just gotta follow that. If anyone messes it up, the, just like the Seraph Shield mission, if everyone messes up, then you die. This originally was an area that was a uh, puzzle room within the original mission. I don't know if they're bringing that back. It's kinda cool um, to get the catalyst, so it's possible, but we'll see. You know, they've tried to make this really um approachable you know for the average guardian so they may not do that because that mission that that puzzle can be difficult so we're going to work ourselves out of here go over here i'm just making sure i have the weapons i want now i will say going to this we weren't really optimized for dps because we didn't know we were running into so um i wouldn't recommend whisper here actually in this mission you're probably going to want to use things that really help you out DPS. In the original mission, we used Whisper because there were tanks, so we tried to take out their crit spots on. Um, there are going to be a couple things. There are going to be a solar, there are going to be there are going to be enemies with solar shields, void shields, and there are going to be arc shields. So again, when possible, I would optimize for those burns as you're going through this. And so in my case, I'm going invisible. I'm trying to take out as much stuff as I can early on. I'm gonna do this so I get invisible so I don't die. Um, but you'll see, again, just a wave. And the servitors, in some cases, will shield enemies. So you're gonna wanna take care of those where you can. Um, obviously, while the servitor is not um, shielding uh, Cyrix, you can obviously you know do some damage. So again, goal here is to take all the enemies out and take the boss out. The thing you have to worry about is there's a bunch of enemies. You have different shields. There's always enemies that are snipers. They can be extremely annoying. I can't hit my shots. But as you can see, this is kind of the flow of the, of the boss fight, right? The boss moves around. And you just continue to take enemies out and do damage where you can, right? Again, I'm saving my whisper because when I originally did this, I, oh, this is a neat thing here. See how I died there? So when some of the fallen die, they drop trip mines. But these trip mines are different. The trip mines don't just drop trip mines. They, well, let's be honest. They actually drop trip mines. So it's very important 
with these these trip mines that show up that you take them out because those things will take you out really easily you can see one here on the right so just be careful about that that's something when we first ran through this we weren't expecting and kind of caused us some issues i want to get this last shielded enemy get him down and then continue working on the boss and the enemies around him trying to take this thing down so it doesn't kill me and we're just continuing to work on the enemies where we can and we're doing pretty good on the boss like he's you know he's getting lower but again oh, again yep gotta get rid of those don't want those to mess you up right that can be an issue a lot of the ones on the right and left side are arc so you know again um i was using a, a close up weapon here might not be advisable depending on your loadout for me since I was on a hunter and void, I can always, you know, hide and disappear. So again, you're gonna to continue to take the boss health out, continue to take out those trip mines where you get the where you get the option to do that. You know, continue to take out all the enemies, right? Because they're gonna to continue to mess you up if you don't. And again, I'm just trying to match the burn and take some of these shielded enemies down, all right? That's that's my goal in all this, which is working slowly. So we're gonna continue to work on the boss. He's going down, all right? I'm gonna take the sniper out because he's annoying, he's annoying me. Again, if I had to do this ever again, and I will, I wouldn't have used, uh, I wouldn't have used this as my heavy. Now you see, hey, he's gone. Okay, great. You'll notice this boss fight is a little different than the original, right? The sequence is a little bit different, but you'll see, let me get rid of that dude. Let me get rid of that guy. You'll still see that they're the tanks. So really here, if you have a sniper like this, you know, the goal is um, you can really be doing crits and taking the shields, basically opening up the uh, boss, the little tanks for additional damage, right? And that's what I'm doing. I'm Trying to hit the crits, which I'm not always succeeding at, to do enough damage. They're working on the one on the right. I'm working on the one on the left. I'm waiting for its crit to show back up so I can shoot it. It's hard to see with his grenades on it, but um, that's my goal. So we're continuing to do damage. Almost there. Almost there. And you know, you would be thinking at this point, hey, I'm in pretty good shape. I have plenty of time left. I should be good. In fact, I'm not even bothering to get my fire team member up because I'm like, I'm just gonna finish this off without any heavy. And this is why heavy management is gonna be really important in this encounter, right? Almost got him down. You can see he's doing his his crit attack on people. Then it says sure, it's heavily armed. So now what you're going to see is the, is the boss shows up again, but this time he's got a servitor and a bunch of enemies with him, and he's chonky and takes a lot of damage. So I'll give you a couple pieces of advice here. Um, again, watch out for these these death rays that are coming down. Um, continue to work on him. Continue to work on the enemies, and. You know, if you don't have heavy, it's gonna take you a while to do it. So again, just balance out the shields, make sure you have arc, void, and solar where you need it, and try your best early encounter, potentially either to use offensive supers, so you can use those here at the end, or just preserve more of your heavy, because the when Cyrix is here at the very beginning, he's not that chonky, so it's a lot easier to defeat. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of fast forward to the end, because again, the boss mechanics are not that much different at the very end, right? It's really the same after that. Really at that point, as I, you can see me die, um, really at that point, you're just gonna slowly work the, the boss down and he gets easier as, you, as his health gets lower. But go through that, complete the mission, and then you'll start your quest to pick up your outbreak perfected. Again, the schematic. So again, you know, fun mission, one I love to run in Destiny uh, 2 earlier on. Hope you like this video. If you do, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.